MT is providing this conceptual design of an enclosed aerated static pile composting system to keep the composting process simple yet contained to manage odors and runoff. The facility shown is sized to process up to 50,000 tons per year of organic solid waste. This capacity can be scaled up or down as needed. The facility is placed on a six acre parcel that is sloped to one corner where all contaminated stormwater is collected and treated for reuse in an 800,000 gallon lined pond. Both composting and curing areas are covered by roofs. So the clean stormwater can be collected and infiltrated underground. The truck scale and scale house are near the gate with a view of the sales yard and unloading areas. Trucks enter the unloading area through a high speed air curtain to keep birds and bugs away and odors in. Trucks unload alongside a push wall and then drive straight through to return to the scale. The loader carries the feedstock to the grinder and pushes the freshly ground materials into a low pile on a non-clogging aeration floor. Ground material is watered and accumulates until there is a full batch of compost ready to be started into one of the five high aeration zones. Here it is covered with a six inch layer of old compost to reduce odors and absorb any nutrients that want to vaporize. Air inside the building is under a slight negative pressure. All air is removed at a rate of 10 air changes per hour during operational hours. An exhaust collection duct pulls air from the curved top and goes into two large low pressure stainless steel fans removing over 80,000 cubic feet per minute from the building. The moist and odorous air is directed to a large wood chip based biofilter that is kept irrigated to provide over 85% odor removal. Engineered biofilters with good moisture management have been successful tools for removing odors in making composting facilities acceptable neighbors. The compost pile blowers remove air from inside the building and then push it up through the piles. This reduces pile moisture loss and limits temperature stratification. Reversing aeration blowers can be requested to further reduce temperature stratification. After two to three weeks, the compost is removed and rewatered using a mixer truck and placed in the secondary aeration zones where a reduced amount of air is needed. Here, the compost is controlled for another 14 to 18 days using temperature feedback controls, like in the primary aeration zones. After 28 to 36 days, the stable compost is removed from the enclosed composting building and placed in the open-sided curing building, where a small amount of air is supplied at higher pressures to keep the dense compost from going anaerobic. After 40 to 50 days of curing, the finished product is screened and stored for sale to the local community. With the controlled aeration and rain cover, you end up with a dry and stable compost. This process captures and reapplies almost all of the nutrients that would otherwise be vaporized or leached from the piles. The finished compost is a black, earthy smelling, slow release organic fertilizer. Here at GMT, we strive to keep things simple yet effective 
please call us or write to us if you have any questions.